this is Kathleen Madigan. You're watching Buzzine. If you're not interested in comedy, I get that. Like, I'm not interested in country music per se, right? But I saw this thing on uh, History Channel or something. I don't care about what they sang, but I was really interested in their lives. Like, in what the hell goes on with, really, you're Tanya Tucker and you're in a bus for 50 years? Like, what is that? And I think this show is trying to show that. The lives, like, what are our lives? Yeah. Like, our road lives, our show lives, but our lives, yeah. yeah. I got really heckled by this lady. I have a lot of alcoholic fans, but that's fine. <laughs> that's that's absolutely fine. But she was really older and and quite hammered, and she was yelling from the balcony in the theater because I all I said was uh, I hadn't finished anything. I just said I can't listen to Sarah Palin because now you don't know what I'm going to say, right? You don't know if it's going to be good, bad, indifferent, and she loses it in the balcony. And she goes, "That is ridiculous, God." I love you, Kathleen, but don't go down this road. <laughs> don't go down this road. There's probably, at the end of the day, I'd say a 1,000 people out of 350 million in America making money at this. And by money, I mean more than 40 grand a year. I mean making money to say, okay, I'm making a living, you know, right. a, a living to support a family or whatever. There's just not that many of us, so we we all know each other. I've known Ron for 20 years. I've known Lou for 20 years, and Jamie... Four years ago, I mean, he's relatively new. Well, I started when I was 23. I'd say maybe when I was 33, I was like, okay, this is a really good living and it's getting better and better and better and it has the potential. I always like them, I'm kind of a gambler. Like, I don't want the solid bet, safe bet. I want the crazy bet. I want all or nothing. This is, this is the